adjustments at halftime. To a rolling left with the grain, and down he goes. Slung down in his own 48 yard line. Josh Tupu. And, uh oh. Well, we saw last week, and he went down, he got up, was wobbly. The training staff comes out. And, of course, the last thing the Dolphins wanted to see. I mean, last week it looked for all the world. Everybody thought head injury, concussion, passed the protocol, came back second half, led him to a victory. And, and, and Al Tupo slams him to the ground. I mean, it, it's you think about the back, the ankle, but he gets thrown to the ground. Again, wrenching that back, which yeah. was the issue last week. Yep. So they work on him. We'll step away for a moment. Roger Goodell. In the NFL, I'm going to need a full investigation into why Tua Tagovailoa is playing in a Thursday night game where he got hurt again, again, four days after he was hurt previously in the Bills game. I need to know who cleared him to play. Who cleared Tua Tagovailoa to, to play? Sorry if I butchered his name. I need names. I need full disclosure of everything. NFL, this is this is shady on your part. There's no reason that Tua Tagovailoa was cleared to play in this game, the Thursday night game between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Miami Dolphins after he already was having concussion like symptoms. I don't understand it. They're saying he has neck and and um back injuries currently. And he was rushed to the hospital. But my thing is this, he shouldn't have even been playing in this Thursday night game. There should be a pro. Isn't there a protocol on this? This is already shady. You know the Miami Dolphins are a very shady organization at this point. Like I'm coming into to question a lot of their practices right now. The whole firing of Brian Flores was shady. Stephen Ross is a shady owner. Um, the tank for Tua thing two years ago was shady because that literally goes against the NFL's competition policy where you're not supposed to openly tank, and they knew about it. They knew about it. And then they just threw Brian Flores under the bus. So my point is this. There needs to be a full investigation into why Tua Tagovailoa was playing, number one. And number two, how he was cleared to play. Who cleared him? What doctors cleared Tua to play tonight? That's what I want to know. And most importantly, man, prayers up to Tua. Um, let's pray that he's all right. Um, I haven't gotten any updates yet as I'm making this video, but let's... Let's pray that Tua is all right and okay. Um, it was very scary. It was a very scary injury as I was watching it live. Um, his fingers, his head movement, all of it looks very scary. So let's just pray for a healthy recovery for Tua that he can get back out there and playing. But in the right time, meaning he needs at least a week of rest before you rush him back to play. Because that still rubs me the wrong way that y'all rushed him back in four days. Knowing damn well that literally he had a concussion on Sunday. You're going to rush him back to play on Thursday night. Oh, man. I hate this league sometimes, man. We got to do better than that, man.